there. Today we're going to talk about something crazy. I'm a real estate agent, but I'm actually going to give you some advice on how to sell your home without a real estate agent. <sighs> yeah. It's something that a lot of people want to do and I can respect that because you're going to save some money from not paying a real estate agent, but you have to be very careful and I will tell you why. I've got um, 12 key points that I'm gonna talk about in this video, okay? My name is Chelsea Fershey, and I'm a top producing and top selling team agent here in Honolulu, Hawaii. I work for eXp Realty and the Kawaguchi Group. Um, okay, so number one is make sure that all of your permits are closed out. If you live in a single family home, make sure all of your permits are closed out. What I mean by that is if you made an addition on your house or if you got a permit to, um, I don't know, put in a pool or get your roo a new roof done, make sure that the contractor has closed out that permit. Or if you did it by owner builder, make sure that you have closed out that permit. Now this also applies to someone who lives in a condo or a townhome as well because if you have had some sort of a renovation request with the association or with the management office, you need to make sure that that's closed out, okay? That they know that you finished it, that you did everything by all of the condo docs, like by all the rules, and that that is closed out and you are good to go. Because if it's not, when they transfer ownership, if you sell it without doing that, sometimes they will transfer ownership and either come back and find you or go to this new owner and then you'll be in a load of trouble because then they're gonna come after you. So don't do that. So just make sure it's closed out. Um, make sure you have fresh paint on the walls if you can. Interior paint, it makes so much difference. It just freshens everything up. There's no fingerprints from the kids or drawings from the kids or you know, around the light switches where there's all the dirty hand prints and stuff. Paint your walls if you can. It helps a lot, I promise. A neutral color, maybe a white or an off-white or a gray or a beige. Keep it light, okay? Um, make sure you've decluttered your home. You know, all this kind of stuff is okay, but if you've got like too much stuff, then take some of it off. Maybe just keep one thing or you know, I mean, you can figure that out. If you look at other listings, the pictures of other listings, look and see that there's only a few things next to the TV or next to on the coffee table. You know, you want to keep it clean. Keep, um, if you can, remove family photos to protect um, just anonymity of your family members. I don't know. I mean, that's actually, I should do a video just on that about having your family pictures in the home because that's a whole other thing. Anyways, okay. Number four, make sure your home is clean. Even if that means hiring a cleaning service to come and clean, like a deep clean, the day or two before you go live, okay? Make sure your house is clean. It's so important because when someone comes in their, your home, if they feel gross, like maybe you, in Hawaii, we take off our shoes before we come in the house. If I come in and I feel icky gooey on my feet, I kind of want to get the heck out of that house. I don't want to stay in there and I definitely don't want to live in there. So just clean your house, clean it yourself, have it cleaned, whatever you need to do, super important. Um, contact number five, contact your lien holder or your mortgage company and see how much you owe. Um, it's good for you to know how much you're going to owe. And then you can kind of think about your sales price, what the difference is there, what you're going to make. Um, and it's, it's just good to do that. It's good to know where you're at with your mortgage company right now. And number six, this kind of piggybacks on that is contact an escrow company and get an estimated settlement statement so that you know, uh, they'll ask you, okay, so what is your sale price going to be? Or what are you thinking about it to be? And you can say, um, 500,000. And then they'll say, okay, how, they might not even ask you what you owe on your property because they're going to probably expect you to know that. Um, uh, but they'll give you an estimated amount for escrow fees. Um, 
just all those little closing costs. So you can kind of see what's going to come off the, the top before you get your proceeds. Okay. Um, let's see. Number seven, if you live in a condominium or in an association neighborhood, order your condo docs. If, if you're selling in this market right now where things are going to, where you're going to get an, an offer really fast, get your condo docs right away because at least in Hawaii, um, they take between 10 and 14 days because sometimes they need 10 business days. That's two weeks, Monday through Friday, there's five, Monday through Friday, there's five more. So get your condo docs. And here in Hawaii, we have mm, three ways of getting condo docs. One is condo certs. Some of the condo docs are in condo certs and some of the docs are on DocuTrieve. And then sometimes you'll be in an association where they have their own documents and they have them on file in the property manager office or in the main office. You know, Mililani Town documents are like at Mililani Town office. Um, Mauna Luan condo in Hawaii Kai, they have those documents on file and they're actually a hard copy copies oh my gosh stop most of them will be pdf but every once in a while like mililani town and mauna Luan, they have hard copies so you want to order those ones don't take long by the way those two those they have them ready for you in 48 hours but other ones for condo certs and docutrieve order those quick okay let's see number eight Consider getting a home inspection done before you list, before you go live for sale. Uh, an inspector will come in and they'll do a full inspection of your house up and down, sideways, inside and outside. And they'll let you know if there's anything wrong with your plumbing, if there's anything wrong with any of the appliances, if there's anything wrong with maybe, maybe your shingles are on their last life, uh, last leg and you're you know gonna need to you know, have your roof replaced soon, or maybe you have spalling in your, in your foundation, or maybe you have, you know, maybe your paint is looking real. I mean, I think you'll know that if, if that's happening, but, um, you know, there's any number of things, but some things can actually be fixed really quickly. So you might want to do that because if somebody comes in and they see a really clean house or they come in, they make an offer, you're in escrow, and then they get their inspection done and it's super clean because you've already had an inspection and you've already fixed all those little things winning everybody's winning when the buyer's winning then you're winning too so it's always a good thing and typically they will give you a little bit of a deal if you're an owner requesting a home inspection a pre-listing home inspection um it, it'll help you um, or if you have just a handy guy in your house or in your family, maybe who can come and do it. Super helpful. Um, let's see. Number nine, be careful with pricing. Oh, be super, super careful. Um, look at recent sales in your neighborhood and only look within the last six months. And that means six months from today. Okay. Don't look, so it's November right now. Only go back to six months. <laughs> okay, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna do that reverse month thing because I'm thinking about this. Um, they won't look at listings from January or February because that's over six months ago, okay? Six months is what an appraiser is gonna look at for the valuation of your home. If you have a buyer who's coming in and buying your house with a loan, if it's a cash buyer, hey, they can pay you $8 million for your home. So it don't matter. So, but just keep that in mind, okay? If you have a buyer who has a loan, uh, just make sure that pricing is right on. Otherwise, you might have some appraisal issues uh, when it comes down to that. But yeah. So just think about that. It's it's really difficult right now to price homes because things are just going up and up and up. And I mean, I'm pricing out a home that I'm listing in two weeks from now. And I'm like, 
okay, I'm looking at the last six months in this neighborhood because it's pretty easy to, to comp this but the one from six months ago and then the one from that most recently sold at the beginning of november here i mean there's even been an increase in price since then so be really careful not only because i want you to get the most money but you also don't want to screw yourself okay you don't want to list high and have everybody think oh my gosh this person is doing owner for sale and they're listing high and you know, it's just, you just want to be real careful with that. I mean, if you have a realtor in the family or something and maybe they can consult you, you can maybe give them a flat fee or something for just consulting on the price, maybe ask them. They might be willing to do that for you. Um, let's see, and pricing low, I mean, obviously, there are some advantageous points to pricing low in that you'll get more interested buyers because they're gonna be like, what a deal. And then they might overbid, but you have to be careful with that too, because those people that overbid, they want the world on a string <laughs> and your house better be perfect when it comes time to inspection. <sighs> but that's something you will learn, becoming your own home realtor, no. <laughs> It just, just be careful with pricing. It's all good. Um, number 10, make some flyers. Pick your house up really nice. Take some nice wide pictures of your big area, your main areas like bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchen, living room, maybe a front exterior shot, you know, make some flyers and write the things about your home that are special and put the price on there as well and your phone number and your name, right? Just like a realtor would do, okay? and print that out, have, have a bunch of those printed out. Um, if you're in Hawaii here, Honolulu Copy is wonderful. They're a small business here. They're off of Ainakoa and Cal Highway, where Cal Highway meets each one. Um, they're great, and they're really professional, great prices, if that's in your wheelhouse, or if that's what you're gonna do, okay? Um, number 11, have an open house once you go live, okay? Typically in Hawaii here, we do Sundays from two to five. Um, you can have an open house on Saturday or on Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, it doesn't matter. But the people who are out looking at open houses are gonna be around Sunday between two and five. That's our day, yeah. Um, and lastly, consider hiring a realtor only, don't, I don't wanna lose you now, Consider hiring a realtor just to get your listing on the MLS. There are some realtors around here who will do a flat fee of like, I don't know, like $500, $1,000, just to put it on the MLS so that you can spread it out and show it to other realtors who have clients who are looking, okay? Now, there's a caveat here, if you do that, you are probably going to want to be able to offer a buyer's agent who's bringing a buyer to your sale. You're going to want to offer them a commission. Okay. You, you don't have to pay. You can pay a flat fee to that agent who's putting it on the MLS, but you're going to want to offer a buyer's agent a commission. Okay. And I'm not going to talk about anything else with that, but if you're putting it on the MLS and you want, buyer's agents to bring you a buyer they're not going to just bring their buyers if you're not going to give them a commission unfortunately but i wish you luck um if you have any comments on this or have any other thoughts on this leave a comment i'm happy i'm open to hearing all of your opinions and your ideas of other great ideas for for homeowners to sell their home without a realtor um, i think it's a helpful thing uh, for those people who maybe they don't have the money or the, in their budget when they sell their house maybe they're just barely not gonna short sale you know so i just i like to provide information and provide value to people who want it there you go all right. Hope you have a great day and a great week. Aloha.